President at uh, members ng cabinet. Um, before we start, uh, tignan natin kung saan tayo nang gagaling sa, uh, in terms of the economy. Ho. Nung pumasok kayo noong 2016, ang order nyo ho sa amin ay is to manage the economy for the welfare of the Filipino people. Ang ibig sabihin noon, uh, lahat ng uh, collection natin ng taxes should be uh, collected efficiently at lahat ng gastos natin should be very conservative and really uh, wag tayo magwaldas ng pera. So, ang resulta ho nun ay uh, maganda yung position ng eco economy natin. So, kaya even though we have a uh, bad uh, a bad luck to have this uh, COVID-19. We are very well prepared. Ang growth of natin from 2016 I average 6.4 percent. Yung collection natin ng income ng government uh, I, is the highest in 22 years as a percentage of our growth. Ang utang ho natin is has gone down to the lowest it has been in terms of percentage to GDP, and it's only now 41.5%. Dati ho, 70% of GDP yan. Ang inflation ho natin, bumaba na. So it's, uh, last month it was 2.5%, and it is within our target of 2 to 4%. Ngayon, itong uh, COVID-19 has hit us in a very hard way. Uh, ang katotohanan lang, ang estimate natin, our GDP growth will be zero or minus one uh, percent. Ang temporary unemployment natin will be 1.2 million workers. Pero this is, uh, this is in comparison with the lowest unemployment rate ever achieved in the Philippines. For the economy, so, uh, tignan din natin yung budget deficit natin from 3.2 percent, lalaki ng 5.3 percent. In other words, we will be spending more than we will be collecting. But we are spending more in order to save the people and make sure that they have food on the table during this time. So, ang debt to GDP natin ho, tataas ng from 41 percent, siguro aabot ng 47 percent. Pero that is still very low in, in, uh, in compared to our neighbors. Uh, may isang neighbor tayo na 80% of GDP ang utang nila. Ngayon, uh, nagpapasalamat ho ako na uh, the legislature gave you the power to reallocate the budget so that we can, we can meet the new uh, how would you say, the new uh, priorities now, which is the COVID. This is uh, uh, brought about by the COVID. So ang, uh, ang the economic managers and the central bank have put together a fiscal and monetary actions of a value up to date, up to this date, of 1.17 trillion pesos or 6.8 Six to five to six percent of the GDP. We have a long breakdown of how we have this uh, this this uh, program, uh, but mostly it was to provide subsidies for the low income low income families and workers of the small and medium enterprises. Uh, uh, we also spent a lot of money, about six hundred million pesos for health care and uh, COVID uh, items. And the central bank has provided 830 billion pesos in uh, liquidity for the economy. So, ang 
this, this is what we have done so far. Ngayon, right now, we are working on our recovery or our bounce back program. But to do that, we have to analyze first what is the damage to the economy. So we have a survey and uh, we have already received 44,000 uh, uh, resp respondents and uh, we will analyze that para matignan natin kung saan ang da malaking damage sa uh, uh, tourism, sa manufacturing, at saka anong mga companies na, na natamaan ng masama. Either small and medium enterprises or yung mga big corporations. So we are also coming up with the program to continuously borrow more money to support the Philippine economy and our fight against this COVID. Uh, right now, uh, tinatap natin yung mga uh, kaibigan natin sa ADB at saka sa World Bank. And we will probably be borrowing mga 5.6 billion US dollars from them. Kung kulang pa ito, we will go to the commercial market. Pero okay naman ang credit rating natin. Tumaas nga. Uh, BBB plus na tayo. The highest ever. So we are confident ho, na we have the financial capability to bridge this problem of the of that covid has brought us so uh, we want to assure all our uh, citizens na at this point in time we have the money although we have to realize na hindi naman uh, endless yung pera na ito so kailangan we have to spend it correctly hindi yung for wasteful uh, expenditures so the the program is to spend first to help the poorest families, and then to help the small and medium enterprises, and then to provide support for the companies that are supported by their banks. So, Mr. President, uh, you have created an economy that can stand a hard hit, and uh, I think the Filipino people should thank you for your very conservative economic policies.